Texans didn't hold up, hold out, that is. They spoke up with their safety concerns. So now San Jose is taking action. The city council is advancing new restrictions on homeless camps and RVs near schools, including a rule that would create a buffer zone to keep tents away from campuses. So the ordinance would allow the city to enforce a rule first discussed more than a year ago. Katie Nielsen explains that's when parents and students asked the entire city to step in. This is the entrance to Kip Collegiate in San Jose. It borders Independence High School here on Educational Park Drive. But just a few feet away, almost a dozen RVs, homes for some of San Jose's more than 4,500 unhoused residents. For the past year and a half, um, we've been involved in some advocacy surrounding our school safety and security. Alfredo Hernandez is a senior at KIPP and says some of the people living in RVs have scared his classmates. She was catcalled by one of the unhoused residents living here and neighboring uh, our school. And that really, that really made me realize how severe this issue has gotten and how we need an immediate solution. Alfredo says the RVs started parking around the school during the pandemic, and that's when the problems really started. He says he met with San Jose's mayor, Matt Mahan, to talk about the concerns, something the mayor addressed today. They were walking past RV encampments, sometimes being harassed on their way on and off campus, or having break-ins on campus, even found needles on their picnic tables, and they asked us, what is a city can we do? The answer is apparently two new ordinances, one that would prevent tent encampments within 150 feet of a school, and the other would allow oversized vehicles and RVs to be towed if they posed a public safety risk, which includes being parked near schools. This is her house, she says. Mm -hmm. For those like Anna Guerrero, who lives in an RV parked next to the school, she says she started parking here a few weeks ago because she was out of options. We're here because we're struggling. We don't really have a place to go, you know, because there isn't really places where you could park. Anna says she wants to go to one of the county's safe parking sites, but her RV has been ticketed in the past to the point she can't renew her registration without paying all those past due parking tickets. And she can't park in a county safe parking lot until she gets her RV registered. We're just trying to survive. Yeah. We're just trying to survive. We are not advocating for the criminalization of our unhoused neighbors. We are advocating for a solution that benefits both us, the students, and our safety, but also advocating for a solution that benefits our unhoused residents. The City Council's final vote on the ordinances is May 21st, and if approved, enforcement will begin sometime after that. Katie, thank you. And the city said it will begin focusing efforts around Independence High School as well as Shurikawa Elementary School and Challenger Schools Berryessa Campus.